how can religion meet that the life conditions that we're in the midst of and 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 will it have to change will it have to evolve to move into the to move into the future or or how do we need it do we need are are, are there specific traditions that can help us what what do they have to say about the li about, about the the crisis in the world now or do we need, even need a new tradition to go into this the future so those are all kind of all the issues we're kind of looking at um, so maybe just to start with you're, you come from a, the Buddhist tradition and t the Tibetan Buddhist tradition. Yes. So what do, you, what do you see as the challenges of, uh, of Tibetan Buddhism and your tradition? What, what do you see, how does it need to move into the future? How does, it, how does it need to change to meet the 21st century? Well, in terms of religion and spirituality, mm -hmm. I'd like to quote um, a motto that came in 97 in a meeting around the Dalai Lama with indigenous people from f the five continents. Mm -hmm. the, the motto is, the world has, is fed up of religions when it starves for spirituality. Mm -hmm. So it has to be interpreted. Mm -hmm. It means we don't want any more dogmatic mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. approach. Mm -hmm. Right. If you give to the absolute different names mm -hmm. and uh, you become chosen people of the E, right. whichever name, right. and off you do crusade and jihad, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. basta. Mm -hmm. That's right. So spirituality is based on, on experience mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, is based on uh, common experience. Human, family, common experience, mm -hmm. and uh, so this is, uh, in Buddhist terms, mm -hmm. uh, what we share with the Golden Rule, mm -hmm. this principle of non-violence, mm -hmm. of compassion, of love. But by the Golden Rule, you mean the? By the Golden Rule, I mean, do not do to the other mm -hmm. the violence you wouldn't like to be the victim of. Right. Right. And it has different formulation, sure. but uh, right. don't uh, consider the other as yourself right. and have the same love and the same compassion right. for your brother, sister than you have for yourself. In an image, be like your right and left hands, right mm. and left and not opposite. If the left hand is wounded, the right one will take care of the left as if it was itself. And if the right is wounded, the left would be the same. That's a great metaphor. Because yeah. a same organism, a same body. Mm -hmm. And we all, in a global interdependence, are part of a greater body. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you know, mm -hmm. this awareness um, can bring uh, ground for a global human good heart people mm -hmm. synergy mm -hmm. a civil society of good hearted people mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of a world citizen <laughs> right. world citizen right right simply Do we have to be world citizens now not citizens of a nation is that what you, you know the citizens of a nation or even members of just of a particular religious tradition or we can be citizen we can be citizen of a nation i'm an, an european sure, uh, and uh, european paradigm is, is quite interesting because you, you can be of a nation but still work in a in a network in, in a um, uh, higher uh, level of organization right right and exactly. the idea is to get that globally speaking mm -hmm. uh, a global government, uh, global governance, mm -hmm. it's better. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is possible. Mm -hmm. you know, I'm teasing uh, both American and European. Mm -hmm. We claim to be Democrats. Mm -hmm. It's not true. We are hypocrite Democrats. Uh -huh. Because we are democratic among ourselves, uh -huh. between our group, our nation, would it be the American? Would it be the French? Uh -huh. Whoever. Uh -huh. But then we build collective egos, uh -huh. which behave in between them, themselves in an imperialistic uh, game of power. That's interesting. Uh -huh. So 
It says only Collect collective egos. That's, inter that's an interesting idea. Yeah. yeah. National ego is but collective ego. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Fighting in an egoistic way, which means mm -hmm. without any altruism, mm -hmm. without any love, mm -hmm. without any compassion. Mm -hmm. The Dalai Lama <coughs> often thought of um, compassionate business, exchanges, mm -hmm. cooperation. Cooperation is a win-win strategy. Uh -huh. right. Cooperation rather than competition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, such a dynamic can uh, engage through civil society. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, let's speak for that. And uh, right. civil society, you know, if the civil society is aware, and, and uh, we can. Uh, we, we can make a difference. Each one of us can make a difference. And together we are much more than the sum of our own individuality. Mm.